Welcome, and today we dive into the unforgiving saga of the Nagorno-Karabakh War, a tale of a land coveted by two nations, embroiled in a bitter struggle that has its roots deep in history. The Nagorno-Karabakh region, a mountainous landscape located in the South Caucasus, is the epicenter of this conflict. Known for its strategic importance and rich cultural heritage, this region has been a bone of contention between Armenia and Azerbaijan for decades. The seeds of this dispute were sown during the era of the Soviet Union. In an attempt to maintain a balance of power, the Soviet authorities assigned the Nagorno-Karabakh region, primarily populated by ethnic Armenians, to the Azerbaijan Soviet Socialist Republic. This decision stirred resentment among the local Armenian population and laid the groundwork for future conflict. As the Soviet Union began to crumble in the late 1980s, the simmering tensions finally boiled over. The Armenians of Nagorno-Karabakh demanded unification with Armenia, a call met with fierce opposition from Azerbaijan. The territorial dispute was further complicated by deep-seated ethnic divisions. Both nations, Armenia and Azerbaijan, viewed the region as an integral part of their national identity and neither was willing to back down. The struggle for Nagorno-Karabakh was not just about land. It was a battle of identities, fueled by historical grievances and national pride. The stakes were high, and the stage was set for a bitter conflict that would rage for years. The world watched with bated breath as the two nations headed towards a devastating war. Little did they know, this was merely the prelude to a conflict that would shape the geopolitical landscape of the region for years to come. And so, in the late 1980s, the stage was set for a bitter conflict that would rage for years. As the Soviet Union weakened, tensions escalated, leading to full-blown war by the end of 1991. This was not a war that erupted overnight. The roots of the conflict were deep, tracing back to the formation of the Soviet Union. The early stages of the war were marked by sporadic skirmishes, but as the Soviet Union crumbled, the conflict rapidly intensified. The two sides engaged in key battles, each trying to gain the upper hand. The terrain was treacherous and the conditions were harsh, but neither side was willing to back down. But this was not just a war between Armenia and Azerbaijan. International actors played significant roles, particularly Russia. Historically, Russia had strong ties with both nations, but its own internal struggles impacted its ability to maintain control in the region. As the war unfolded, Russia's influence waned, and other powers began to fill the void. The war was not fought in isolation. It was part of a larger geopolitical chess game, with each move having far-reaching implications. The Central Asian countries, once part of the Soviet Union, were also embroiled in border clashes. This was an era of immense instability and change. However, the human cost of the war was immense. Thousands were displaced from their homes, forced to flee to safer regions or even other countries. Casualties mounted on both sides. The images of war-torn cities and grief-stricken families were a stark reminder of the devastating impact of the conflict. The war also had a significant impact on the regional balance of power. As Russia's influence diminished, China's influence began to spread reshaping the geopolitical landscape of the region. Meanwhile, the war's fallout, including the influx of refugees, exacerbated tensions and added another layer of complexity to the conflict. Amidst this chaos, the events of January 2, 1994 would prove pivotal. January 2, 1994 marked a significant turning point in the Nagorno-Karabakh War. It was a day characterized by strategic decisions and intense combat. The dawn of the second day of the year saw the Armenian and Azerbaijani forces locked in a tense standoff. The air was thick with anticipation, as both sides knew that the decisions made that day would influence the course of the war. In the Armenian camp, the leaders made a bold decision. They chose to launch a major offensive, aiming to seize key Azerbaijani positions and gain a strategic advantage. The plan was audacious, but they believed that the risk was worth the potential reward. They prepared their troops bolstered their defenses, and as the sun climbed higher in the sky, they set their plan into motion. As the Armenian offensive began, the Azerbaijani forces responded with fierce resistance. The battles that ensued were brutal and costly, with both sides suffering heavy casualties. But as the day wore on, 
it became clear that the Armenian forces were gaining ground. By the time the sun set on January 2nd, they had managed to secure several key Azerbaijani positions, tipping the balance of power in their favor. The impact of this day on the broader conflict was immense. The Armenian victory significantly weakened the Azerbaijani forces and bolstered the morale of the Armenian troops. It also shifted the strategic landscape, forcing the Azerbaijani leaders to reassess their approach and reconsider their tactics. Meanwhile, the international community watched with bated breath, acutely aware that the events of January 2nd could trigger a wider regional conflict. This was particularly true for Russia, which had historical ties with the region and was grappling with its own challenges on multiple fronts. The events of January 2nd, marked by strategic maneuvering and intense fighting, had lasting implications for the conflict. With this decisive action, the course of the Nagorno-Karabakh war was irrevocably altered, setting the stage for the tumultuous events that were yet to come. In the wake of January 2nd, the war's trajectory had been altered. The events of that day had seismic repercussions, not just for the warring factions, but for the entire region. The outcomes of the day's confrontations influenced strategies, reshaped battles, and ignited a flurry of diplomatic efforts. As the dust settled, the balance of power on the battlefield was visibly shifting. The events of January 2nd had proven decisive, forcing both sides to reassess their stances and adapt their strategies. The ripple effects of this shift were felt far beyond the borders of the battlefield as alliances were tested and diplomatic ties strained. The civilian population bore the brunt of this shift in power. As the battles raged on, they found themselves in the crossfire, their lives irrevocably altered. Displacement, loss, and uncertainty became the new normal. As the war took a heavy toll on the people of the region, as the international community watched on, diplomatic efforts were ramped up in the aftermath of January 2nd. The day had served as a stark reminder of the devastating cost of war prompting renewed calls for peace. Negotiations were fraught with tension, as each side sought to secure their interests, while grappling with the realities of a war that showed no signs of abating. Yet amidst the chaos, there were glimmers of hope. Acts of resilience and unity emerged from the rubble, as communities rallied together to support those most affected by the conflict. These stories of humanity served as a beacon of light in the darkness, a reminder of the enduring spirit of the people in the face of adversity. In the grand scheme of the Nagorno-Karabakh War, January 2nd was more than just another day of conflict. It was a turning point, a catalyst that set the stage for the war's next phase. Its impact was far-reaching, shaping the course of the war and leaving an indelible mark on the region and its people. As we delve deeper into the legacy of the Nagorno-Karabakh War, it is clear that the events of January 2nd were instrumental in shaping the narrative of this conflict. January 2nd was a catalyst, setting the stage for the war's next phase. The echoes of the Nagorno-Karabakh War, particularly the events of January 2nd, continue to reverberate today. This conflict, deeply rooted in territorial disputes and political tensions, has left an indelible mark on the region, shaping its present and molding its future. The war has left an enduring legacy, one that is marked by ongoing territorial disputes and the constant shadow of political tension. The once peaceful region has been transformed into a tumultuous landscape, where the lines between friend and foe are often blurred. The struggle for control over Nagorno-Karabakh, a disputed territory claimed by both Armenia and Azerbaijan, continues to this day, reminding us of the long-term impacts of the war. The humanitarian crisis caused by the war is another significant part of its legacy. Thousands of people were displaced, livelihoods were destroyed, and the region has been grappling with the effects of this devastation for decades now. The echoes of war can still be heard in the stories of those who survived, in the ruins of buildings, and in the hearts of those who long for peace. The Nagorno-Karabakh War also serves as a powerful lesson in geopolitics. The war was not just a conflict between two nations, but a reflection of the larger political tensions that were brewing in the region. It was a war that showed us how quickly simmering tensions can escalate into full-blown conflict and how such conflicts can have far-reaching consequences. It's important to remember, however, that even in the face of such adversity, 
there is always room for hope and reconciliation. The lessons learned from the Nagorno-Karabakh War have led to diplomatic efforts aimed at resolving the conflict and restoring peace in the region. These efforts, while often fraught with challenges, are a testament to the enduring spirit of humanity and the relentless pursuit of peace. While the events of January 2nd, 1994, are etched in history, their impact continues to shape the present and future of the Nagorno-Karabakh region.